the knowledge that we acquire through hearing the Dharma and then reflecting over it produces a certain amount of wisdom. It's said that hearing the Dharma dispels ignorance about the world, about how the world works. Reflecting over the Dharma through our own kind of uh, analysis of the teachings we've heard dispels doubt and uncertainty. So through reflecting on those teachings that we receive, using our critical faculties, checking them with our experience of life, we can eliminate doubt, we can develop a kind of certainty, a confidence in those teachings. But it's only through actually realizing them through meditation uh, that full wisdom is gained. Because Wisdom is not just having the right opinions, whatever they might be. Not just about lacking, uh, kind of, uh, having uncertainty, or uh, eliminating that uncertainty, I should say. It's about experience of what the teaching is pointing us to, what it's signifying, what it says about the nature of mind and the nature of the world. And that has to be experienced nakedly and directly, and that can only happen through meditation, because meditation is the final refining of our awareness. And so, without meditation, the most subtle knots that are the ground of the disturbing emotions and the ground of ignorance are not cut through. But in meditation, we experience reality face to face, finally. Just like all uh, ignorance vanishes about a person when we see them face to face. So, all ignorance about reality vanishes when we've cultivated our awareness through meditation, having previously dispelled ignorance and doubt through hearing and thinking about the Dharma teachings. So it's said, therefore, that it is only through meditation that the experience of the clear light, the luminosity of our fundamental nature can be experienced. So that is the, finally the purpose of, of meditation. But in simple terms, when we say, it is to make a living experience of what we hear about in the teachings. So that we are no longer dependent merely on others' words, even the words of our great teachers. We know ourselves incontrovertibly what is the meaning of the teachings. That is the purpose of meditation.